Hello and welcome to another episode of Lane by Lane, a show that reminds you even the greatest esports minds can still be boosted animals. This week, my guests are Aiden Zyrene Moon, David Freak Turley, and Joshua Jatt. Lee's been making his debut on the show. Jatt, do I need to go over the rules for you, or you think you got an understanding of them? I know a lot of rules. I've also been watching these episodes, trying to figure out what it takes to win. You just say this or that? Definitely not. I'm just going to be terrible. Well, that's fair. I, I appreciate the honesty. We'll give you 100 points for that. We don't find a ton of honesty <laughs> on this show. Fun now, last liars. week's winner was Aiden Zyrene Moon. So sticking with the pattern, we're going to let him start things off. Remember, three questions. Can't share the same answers. Let's dive right into it. First question. What is the most versatile item in the game? And explain to me why it is that. Zyrene, kick it off. Uh, I'm going to go with Hextech Gunblade. Okay. Because it's got Spell Vamp, it's got AD, it's got AP, and then it has an active on it, which gives you a slow for utility, and it has damage. So it has pretty much everything you would want on it, because it also gives you defensive capabilities because of the Spell Vamp. Okay. So it's both offensive, utility, and it has defense included on it, too. Jazz, Jazz got something to say. Let's I don't know go. how that got points. That's an item that's built by three of the 130 champions. Exactly. It's one of the least versatile items in the game. What are you doing? Yeah. A, a health point. crystal. The game is all about dealing and taking damage. All of those matter with a health crystal. AP and AD, you get defense for both of them with health. I can't think of a more versatile item than a health Dash, crystal. But a health wait. crystal. All right, Freak, let's go, let's go, let's go. Boots of speed. Just boots of speed. Literally every champion except Cassiopeia, Cassiopeia. <laughs> buys boots of speed every single game. It is really hard, hard to fact, argue. There are only three champions by Gunblade, which I agree with you, Zyrene's answer sucks. Zyrene should have far fewer than... <gasps> I, agree. No, no, no. I, I disagree. You know, I heavily disagree. disagree. By, <laughs> by, I by disagree. popular <laughs> demand, Zyrene no, 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 is supposed no, no, no. to have... No, no, no. Dash, I have a suggestion. <laughs> I have a suggestion. All right, here, wait, go ahead. 100 points, or 100 gold for each of us, for every champion that buys the item we listed. Okay, so what so you, 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 you point, use that, versatile you or need magical? You need 130,000 gold for free. <laughs> versatile All right. does not mean I'm not going to bother hitting this lever that many times, Freak, but I like the suggestion. Zyrene, I'm going to give you another moment to defend yourself. Yeah. You're the only one who went for a completed item, whereas they went for components. Yeah. So they're talking about versatility in terms of what it can build into, mm -hmm. and I understand that, but I still feel like that doesn't actually mean, like, common does not mean versatile in the same way. Okay. Whereas Jat said a health crystal helps him deal damage. It doesn't help you deal damage. It helps you take damage. I mean, instead, it can yeah, if you're, like, you said, No, you did say it helps you deal and take no, damage. League of Legends is about dealing and taking damage. Well, the technically, all right, well, now, both Zyrene, <laughs> Zyrene, hold up. Now, think about it this way. Technically... Having more health keeps me alive longer, which means I have damage. the opportunity oh, wait, wait. to what deal more item damage do? and or... HP. It gives everybody <laughs> HP when they hit. It oh. also has AP <laughs> All right. you know what? So it helps you get, get 100, buddy. You get 100 points back for that one, Zyrene. Great. Now, with the health crystal, it is only relying on one stat. So why is it that you guys went for components as opposed to choosing, for example, you know, uh, a thorn mail. It's like, well, it gives you health, but also gives you other stuff, Jat. Is it just because then well, yeah, a it isn't doesn't viable help on you more champions? Nearly as much against Cassiopeia or a Victor or something. Okay. It's, it's about how generally versatile the item yeah. can be, as All the right. question was, was named. Man, you guys yeah. took that. I'm not going to lie. You took, and you took that question in a direction I did not expect and, you to go. I got to point yeah. out, like, real quick, Dash, that movement speed is probably the most versatile stat in League of Legends. That's you can stat. dodge skill shots, you can rotate. It's actually DPS stat if you're melee. It's, it's a defensive stat if you're kiting melee. Like, yep. it really does everything in the game. There's a reason that Flash is brought by everybody. I gotta give you credit on that one, like, Freak. Again, I, I'm impressed. sell their boots. You know what, Zyrene? Just accept <laughs> that you lost this question. You <laughs> lost this question. These guys, no they... I, again, <laughs> Zyrene went the way I thought. I thought I was gonna get, you know, final items. And you Trinity guys both, you went the other way, and I've gotta respect the decision. Question number two. Which current NALCS team will play in the promotion tournament? We're going to go hop over to Jat here to kick us off on this one. Which mm. NALCS team will play in the promotion tournament? So only, you only got to pick one. You're going to find I'm a pretty logical person. It's Team Liquid. They have the worst record, and they have yep. the fewest game wins, so they lose the most tiebreaker scenarios. There it if is. If people try and argue anything else, they're wrong. <laughs> Boom. I like it. Definitive, straightforward. Freak, try and argue something else. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and lean on FlyQuest in this one. Uh, okay. Because I think when you're talking about Liquid and the fact that they're not doing very well, they're, they're not doing very well with their old rosters. Mickey's coming in. You expect that to be an upgrade. You expect them to do better. So I'm projecting some slight forward growth for Liquid. Um, and I think FlyQuest will continue with their no roster changes, continue mm -hmm. to not quite know what they're doing, and, and they're just going to fall down a little bit longer. Uh, they're still one of those bottom place teams, and I think that they will be in the promotion tournament. And have the easiest schedule therefore more likely to pick up a win mm. and move on. Mm. Eh. 
I like it. He's calling out the easy schedule, taking strength in the schedule into uh, account here. Zyrene, you got a lot of points to make up here. Let's see if you can do it with a team in the promotion tournament. Who's it going to be? That's going to be Phoenix One. And TL's going to bring in, no, <laughs> TL's going to bring in Mickey and they're going to look great. Phoenix One don't even know who they're starting mid or top. They brought in a rookie last week in Alorum to play the top lane for them and they lost that match. And then they started going, okay, well, let's bring our actual roster back. And now they're bringing Ryu back on. He's going to get burnt and, and out. And they again, won the match. They're going to go down. I yeah, believe they, they won, won the match. Won that they match. So they actually Alorum. beat a player. Who gives Irene a moment? Yeah. to defend himself, but Thank they're right. They you. did win a match with Arrow, at, you know, kind of at the helm of that Callista. So how do you respond to the fact that they may be finding form and some momentum? Well, Ryu said he was already burned out. Winning matches and playing games is going to burn him out even more. And by the time okay. he gets the promotion tournament, he's going to be so burnt out, Purian's going to play, and then they're still not going to understand what they're doing in the middle lane. So All right. that's why I think Phoenix One's going to end you up You covered there. some ground here. Jat, final point? They won the match. He said they lost the match. How do you give him points? He right. actually said Sorry. something completely wrong. Yeah, that was just, you lied. You lied to he our just lied I meant game. Camera. I yeah. meant they lost that game. You lost the game. It's yeah. recorded. Hey, game match, match the versatility versus fringe. I mean, he just can't get us right. I'm going to push this on to question, Good analyst, bad analyst, question all the number fate. three. This is a big one, and it's going to tell me a lot about you as people. Mm. If you could be one champion in real life, who would you be? This time we get to start with Freak. Oh, man. Um, all right. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say maybe Jarvan the Fourth. Okay. So he's the Crown Prince of Demacia. That's a pretty uh, good place. Certainly to they are a little bit fascist, but generally speaking, uh, I think they can still be considered somewhat the good guys. So I'm I'm kind of on the forces for good. And heck, okay. if I become the king of Demacia, I can I can you know kind of push forward some more progressive changes and make sure Demacia is a nice beacon of hope and, and friendliness. Ah. Um, I like that he's uh, actually human. I, you know, I don't want to be Cho'Gath or okay. anything like that. Like, I, you know, I kind of like how my life right now. Well, that's right a little discriminator I discriminatory. I mean, I'm not Void discriminating monsters, against Void so monsters, I might have but... to, I might have to right, you know, talk right. you a little bit there. But, but... I mean, look, like, I'm, I have almost the, the most power in, in maybe the most powerful city-state in the entire okay. world of Valoran that we power know Power hungry, right now. but for good. Yeah, power, uh, po you know, very powerful for good. I, I'm well-liked, you most, know. Most, I've, got that, I've got that solid, um, lawful good sort of... Um, you know, demeanor going on for the D&D &D fans out there. I just feel like he's, you know, one of the most powerful figures yep. in Valorant. And All that's right. a good place so to boring. be. There you have it. Wants to be a prince. It is a very vanilla answer, Zyrene. What do you got? Uh, you, but you just set yourself up. You called his answer boring. Yours better be hot fire. Let's go. Yeah. You know what? I'll, I'll, go, with, I'll go with Azir. Because okay. even though Jarvan has these guys who are loyal to him, Azir, they have no option but to be loyal. He's an <laughs> emperor of Sharima. He conquers. Irene and he is goes going forward. to a dark I think place. this is Old super tired. sick. And it, he controls sand. Like, how badass is that? You come in my control kingdom. Control sand? That'd be a hero, hero, hero power. There is a lot of sand. There is a lot the of sand. There is a lot. There's, There's also great. a lot of Dash. water. Dash. I call into question their understanding of the question. Okay, okay. You said if you can be a champion in real life, which one would you be? Yeah. And they're uh. talking about the privilege they get from being the Emperor of Sharima. Sharima doesn't exist! What are you guys <laughs> doing? Oh. Social <laughs> status doesn't oh. matter! Oh! Oh! Are you kidding me? Jack came in and just <laughs> destroyed the, the both of you! I mean, this this point, he doesn't even have to answer the question. <laughs> Wait, I'm going to be what uber because he can run around really fast and transform. That's cool. St Plus, I like the champion. Stan yeah. still Whoa. exists, and Whoa. he can control it. I love it. And then the soldiers are there, and he can control okay. that. Sharima right. did You not walk into New York City, Sarah, the Emperor back. Sharima, no. and they'll put you in a mental institution. <laughs> All right, Sharima I will, did not exist. I will give you points for the fact that, yes, you would still be able to control sand soldiers and stuff. And a big ass wait, sword no, or no, 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 your no. thing. Quickly Shurima identified was... as insane walking around calling yourself the Emperor of Sharima. I don't know. We've seen Iron place. Fist. You can make that happen at the end of it all. What was that? We've all seen Iron Fist, or some of us have. You Eventually, you get out of the mental hospital, right. and then you fight the hand, and then it's all good to go. Make, then you go up the defenders. It makes for a good story. Yeah. Maybe a I'd great a TV series. series. I don't know if it makes for a great life Wait, for the I'm person having... who has to live. So even if Shreema does it, it... not exist, he makes turrets in the game. They weren't on the summoner's uh, rift you, beforehand. Do you have he, some turret rubble? I mean, right. whole where's the turret rubble? Unfortunately, unfortunately, we're running out of time, so I'm just going to buy some silence for a moment and declare our winner. Our winner goes goes to Joshua Jett Leesman on his very first appearance on Lane by Lane. I, I got to admit, it was an impressive run, redefining the way we look at the questions here on the show. Yeah. As is per usual, you get 10 seconds to make a victory speech or use this as your platform to say whatever it is you want to say. Take it away. Yeah, I mean, I can't say I'm too surprised to win, but mm -hmm. the one thing is, I'm a very literal, logical person, and that's something that is lacking on this show, as is clearly shown by the fact that I won. Yeah. So... In ignoring the literal meaning of the questions, they allowed me to win. There it is. Do you guys have a response to that? 
Uh, I, no, too bad. You don't get to. Only the winner gets to talk on Lane All by right. Lane. Ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for our, <laughs> this episode of Lane by Lane. If you enjoyed it, hit us up on Twitter, Reddit, hey, any dash. of the social medias using that hashtag Lane X Lane. Let's just go ahead and make it a more disparate score. Hey, you dash. That's going to do it for this evening. Hey, you dash. Thank you guys zero. so much for joining me. Thanks to you at home, and we will see you guys next week. Ugh. You must be fun at parties, Jack. <laughs> <laughs>